What is up there guys? My name is Sabres and today I am bringing you another awesome video. The third starter video that aims to help newbies quickly learn, understand and be able to jump right into the action of Evolve Stage 2. The free to play multiplayer shooter featuring 4v1 gameplay in which one player controlled monster must evade and outsmart a team of four uniquely skilled hunters. It is currently available on Steam with a link down below in the description and the third episode begins right now with the Trapper class. The Trapper class performs a two-fold role in Evolve Stage 2. Find where the monster is and then make it stay there as long as possible. The Trapper class features different weapons and skills that vary across the Trapper Hunters. These can consist of a companion for following the monster tracks and harpoon traps for area denial, sound spikes to locate the monster and a harpoon gun for keeping it in place, or tracking darts to track the monster and stasis grenades to slow it to a crawl. The final skill which is available to all Trapper Hunters is the Planet Scanner ability, a skill that points out the general direction of the monster. With that said and done, let's jump into Trapper Training with Margaret Maggie Lumumba. First up in Maggie's holdout is the Block STR Q1AR Machine Pistol. This automatic pistol can deal out a handsome 600 damage per clip, with the clip capable of holding up to 30 rounds of ammunition with each round dealing a decent 20 damage. It features a quick 1.75 seconds reload time, thus allowing Maggie to dish out some quick, heavy damage. However, Maggie's machine pistol does have a wide spread when continuously fired, so it's better with short bursts. When it comes to this gun, just remember, keep it short and sweet. Rounding out the second spot in Maggie's arsenal is the Harrison Defense Solutions Harpoon Mine Launcher. This launcher shoots out stationary harpoon mines that scan the area and trigger on detecting a monster. These stationary harpoon mines are considered deployables and we know that means that only three mines can be deployed at any one time. The stationary harpoon mines can be deployed up to 8 meters away with a 5 seconds arming time. Once armed, these mines have a small 25 hit point and a decent 20 meters trigger distance. These little bad boys are ideal for causing a ton of area denial for the monster. And the third skill, um, web, no, uh, be beast, yes. The third skill is Daisy, Maggie's pet trap jaw. This ferocious beast operates like a bloodhound, tracking the monster's scent anywhere within the entire engagement zone. This oh, kind of and did I mention, Daisy can revive downed us. hunters yes. with the power of her lick. Yeah, you heard me correctly. Her tongue is magical. This trap jaw is capable of reviving fellow hunters and Maggie, even when Maggie is down. Daisy has three priorities. Revive downed hunters, stay near Maggie, and head for the monster in that order. If Maggie becomes too far away from Daisy during her tracking, Daisy will give up hunting and reunite with her master and only then start tracking again. And Maggie's final skill is the same for all Trapper Hunters, the Planet Scanner. This ability will point out the general direction of the monster on each hunter's compass. During this time, the Trapper Hunter will be able to see all wildlife outlined, including the monster. This simple ability is excellent for finding the location of the monster when the Trapper Hunter has gotten Don't off worry, track. Gonna make it. I personally use this Every time it becomes available, except for when I'm fighting the monster, of course, because I know exactly where it is. It's, it's pounding my face in. And yes, of course, if you find yourself knocked down, do not forget Maggie's custom classic pistol. This little fella is only usable when down, but features a six round clip, with each round providing 15 damage per round. Considering it has a quick reload at 1.7 seconds, 
it is a good way to keep on dishing out some damage while you slowly bleed out. Now, where's that darn dog? Alright guys, that is going to do it for the third installment of this series. Please, let me know your thoughts about this video and the others of the series in the comments down below. Thank you so very much for your continued support. And if you like this video, please click flick or hit that thumbs up button for me. It really helps out my channel. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.